So we'll do a strain circle for this element. 45 degree strain gauge rosette. And we'll label these A, B, and C. And this one was 350 microstrain. B is minus 100. And C is plus 160. And we also need E is equal to 200 gigapascals. And Poisson's ratio is 0.3. So to draw strain circles, we need to draw values of strains at these various strain values, 350, minus 100, and plus 60. Strain circles only have a horizontal scale, so we only need to scale horizontally across a page. So we'll start with a datum line about here. And we'll label this the datum. And we need to measure off here our values. So we'll come off here at 350 and this is A and that is 350 so we put a line through there B it will be minus 100 so we need to come out this way at minus 100 so minus 100 and this is B put that line in now it's really important that you label these and C be positive 160, positive 160, Oops. put a line in, C is plus 160. Now we need to do these, we need to sketch our gauge on one of these lines. Now this is really a crucial step. Pick one of the lines, doesn't matter which one, I'm going to take C because it's in the middle. So we mark a point and sketch my gauge in here with, since I'm on line C, I want gauge C to be vertical. So this is C, this is B, this is A. That's a sketch of this gauge drawn here. Really important that people do that. Don't worry about the angles. Now I'm looking for the point where the A gauge crosses the A line and the B gauge crosses the B line, which will be down here. So there'll be a line comes down here, line goes across here. Now I get my protractor and put those in. So C will be through here and B will be at 45 degrees which is there. Hard to see. So I'm looking for where B crosses the B line there and A crosses the A line. There. Okay, now we need to construct a circle which will pass through these three points. The original point we started with and the, where the A line crossed and where the B line crossed. So those two points and the original point that we started with. So do that. We do a bisector on each line. So grab your compass and bisect each of these two lines. and also this line bisect that line bisect this line and that will be my center of my circle here so, center of my circle, go out to one of the points, and put in the circle, which is close to those points. And there's my strain circle. Okay, we're measuring strains. My maximum strains since I've only got a horizontal scale, my maximum strains will be the furthest distance to the left and to the right. That point and that point. Strain max and strain minimum. 
measure them from the datum. This is my datum line. So this one there is 6.25, near enough. And this one is minus 110. So these are micro strains and micro strains. Okay, those are the values for my strains. We now need to, need to know the angles that those strains take. So I can do that easily by coming back for a strain circle. This is really easy. Here's my gauge. There's my maximum strain. I can just put a line in here. That's the angle of my maximum and the angle of my minimum will be through there. So this is where they are on this gauge. So this is the A gauge. And therefore we come round, we can go around this way to get to my maximum and work out what that angle is. Which is about 37 degrees. And again, this one is clockwise from A. So on my original thing, my maximum strain is here at 37 degrees. And my minimum will be 90 degrees to that. Okay, to find principal stresses, we can now use these values of strain. So, stress max is equal to E over 1 minus V squared strain max plus V strain minimum. So, stress max is equal to 210 to the 9, 1 minus 0.3 squared, 6 25 plus 0.3 times negative 110 times 10 to the minus 6, which is equal to 130 megapascals. Stress minimum, same thing, E over 1 minus V squared, strain minimum this time, minimum, minimum plus V strain max 200 times 10 to the 9 1 minus 0 0.3 squared minus 110 plus 0 0.3 times 625 times 10 to the minus 6 which is equal to 17 megapascals Next thing we'll do is find the stress at 10 degrees. So if I want to line through here at 10 degrees from X. So 10 degrees away, sorry, 10 degrees from A. Here's A on here, we'll come around 10 degrees. And we also need to go around another 90. I need two values of strain. One at the point I'm looking at and one at 90 degrees to that. So 10 degrees there and I need plus 90 degrees through here. So draw these lines in. This is my strain at 10 degrees and this is my strain at 10 plus 90. So these ones here, oops, from the datum, are 470, and and the minimum is 50.
So this is my this is my point at 90 degrees away from the one that I want. So as before, stress at 10 will be equal to E over 1 minus V squared strain 10 plus V strain at 90 degrees to that. So I've written it as 10 plus 90. So stress 10 is 210 to the 9, 1 minus 0 0.3 squared. Strain 10 is 470 plus 0 0.3 times the strain at 90 degrees away from that, which is this point here, which is at 50, and times 10 to the minus 6. So it's stress 10 is equal to 106. Make a